today is going to be a fairly chill day i don't have any work but i have errands to run decided that it would be fun to bring y'all with me i need to go to abercrombie because i need to return a pair of jeans that i purchased from online they ended up being just like a tiny bit too big for me I need to go to a pet store so that i can purchase some items for scout because she's pretty much out on a lot of her food i could go grocery shopping today i might i might not just depends I could have sworn there might be another thing that I need to do today, but my mind is blanking, so maybe it'll come to me. Right now, these are ready to come off. They're super dry. They've been on my face for a while. I'm going to do my makeup, so let's speed through this. Hi friends, so it's been at least an hour or so. I finished getting ready. Let me show you my outfit. Is this not such a cute outfit for my shoes? I have on these Vans Camuto. It's the viral extra wide calf boots and they do indeed fit my super wide calves. So I'm very excited. I have on this mini skirt from Abercrombie & Fitch. This shirt I believe is from Shein from like years ago. I'm also going to wear my thrifted leather jacket and for my bag, Louis Speedy Bandolier, I believe. I think this is in the 30. I could be wrong, it might be the 25. I can never remember which one it is. She's quite roomy and she fits everything I need plus my camera, which is why I love her. But while I was getting ready, not only did I get a YouTube video up, I also got a TikTok video up. So I've been very productive thus far. Now it is, I think like 11, 11.30 and I'm ready to go. So I will see y'all out there when we get to Newberry probably. We made it to Newberry. I'm surprised that there's not as many people out today because the weather is incredible. I feel like whenever the weather is nice, everyone just is outside. Abercrombie should be right at the end of this street. And then after I return my pants, I'm gonna get some lunch. All right, here we are, Abercrombie. This Abercrombie is kind of confusing though. I, I don't know where the uh, returning is gonna be, so. I'm gonna be looking a little dumb for a second. Just walk around the store. Just it. I just did my exchange. I got $72 back for those jeans. I'm so happy. I knew it wasn't gonna be that difficult because I literally bought them and exchanged them within like three, four days, but I don't know why. Returning clothes always makes me nervous, even if I've never worn them before, if I just simply tried them on and I didn't like them. I just, I never return things, but I need to get back into the habit of trying to go to the store and returning things that I don't wear because if not, it's just taking up space in my closet and also it's a waste of my money. <laughs> so I'm trying to be better about that. Now, I think we are gonna go to lunch. I've been trying to decide whether I want kava or if I want sweet green. I still haven't decided. I think it's gonna be one of those last minute decisions where it's like the choice is right in front of me and then I decide what I want because I don't know, I could go for either one today. Like they both sound freaking good. I haven't had kava in a really long time though. I had sweet green maybe like a week ago. So maybe that answers my question. Like maybe I should go with kava since I haven't had it in a while. Yeah. Okay, but like my reaction also makes me think that like I'm not into it. So we'll see. Okay, we've made it. Kava or sweet green? I still don't know what I want. Sweet green looks like it's super crowded. Kava also looks like it's a little crowded. I feel like this should not be such a hard decision. We came to Sweet Green. I wanted a salad. I think it was a good choice. I am at Blake Street Coffee now because I really want to get a matcha. I think someone, I saw someone on TikTok say that they had like a blueberry matcha, I think. So I'm really interested in trying that out. 
they do indeed have blueberry matcha. I can see it on the menu. Mm. When was the last time I checked in with you? Was it at the coffee shop? I think so. I've just been walking around. The weather is incredible today. It makes me so happy. The sun is out and it's not too cold. It's just like a little chilly, which is the perfect weather to be out and about because I'm not like hot and sweaty and I can look cute. I think I found a spot where I'm just gonna try and take a couple of photos right now and we'll see what happens because there are still people who walk around a lot and people love to stare. <laughs> Okay, I just took plenty of photos and that's about all the embarrassment I can take in public. So now I'm going to head over to Sephora because as we all know, currently they are having a sale like their usual spring savings and I would like to save some money on Sephora. So I'm gonna buy some couple of things. To the Sephora studio that is on Newberry Street, the side of the Prudential. That one is like usually pretty packed. This one's a smaller Sephora and I hope that they have the things that I want. Let's go in. best concealer I use oh my god Yay! this is the shade that I use ie okay I do think I'm using the right shade okay so we're gonna get the the usual ie I'm so sad I wanted to restock on my favorite lip balm but they don't have any. It is way too dangerous to be shopping at Sephora in person because I just ended up buying two more things that I didn't plan on buying. And so I did spend a little over $100 there. It's okay. It was on sale. <laughs> I still got a discount. Gotta be happy about that. <laughs> and now we need to find a pet store so that I can get some food for Scout. Shut up because this is exactly why I need to be walking around Newberry instead of shopping online because look they are opening a Princess Polly on Newberry Street this summer. I am beyond excited. If you know me at all, I love Princess Polly. She always carries beautiful, trendy, cute pieces for plus size, mid size girls. I am so excited that I get to start shopping in person starting this summer. Oh my God. I'm so excited for Princess Polly. I have made it to Fish and Bone. I've actually never been to Fish and Bone before. I usually purchase things for Scout from like Chewy or from Petco, but Chewy does take a while for it to get delivered to my house. Like usually arrives four to five days after I've placed an order and Petco is just like a little too far. And this is the only pet store within the vicinity that I'm at right now. So let's go in, check and see if there's any food that Scout would typically eat. Look at this Ollie pup. I'm obsessed. That's so cute. I found what I'm looking for. So let's see. Some chicken breasts. And I'm looking for something a little bit different. I could want some more cat food on this side. <gasps> Here it is. This is what we like. So we like the Vital Essentials Chicken Hearts and the Vital Essential Minnows. These are the ones that Scout really likes. Aren't you the sweetest little happy doggy? Hi friends, I am back home. As you can tell, I am so tired and exhausted from being out for quite a while, but I'm really happy that I took the time today to be out in the sun and interact with the, the world. <laughs> I am also really proud of myself for following through on my plans to go out and do all of these errands that I set to do because, you know, sometimes there are days where I have every intention of going out and fulfilling all the things that I set out to do, but I just 
get so in my head and anxious that I just stay at home and I twiddle my thumbs and wonder if I should have gone out and then it leaves me with a lot of regret so I'm really happy that I got to seize the day <laughs> and enjoy this wonderful 60 degree weather I just felt really good being out and about as you saw I did go into Sephora and bought a couple of things because they're having their spring sale right now I didn't buy too many things but I do have enough items where I want to show you what I got so here we are, my tiny little bag. <coughs> I love me some free samples. I like to put them in my gym bag so that when I'm getting ready, I can just use sample sizes of things. They gave me three today. I got one Brighten and Glow Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I've got the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner from Orbe. And then it looks like we have some samples from Makeup by Mario. They're concealer and it comes in like a pack of a bunch of different colors that's really interesting okay i love samples so i'm excited to try these out i also redeemed a hundred point reward today and i got this precisely my brow pencil from benefit and it is in the shade three warm light brown i usually go for like the four four point five five ish range but honestly three will work for me i can make a three work I'm pretty sure I can make a three work. Not only do I actually use this product on a daily basis, but now I have a small size that I can put in my gym makeup bag and it will stay there forever instead of having to like take out from my makeup collection into my makeup bag and then taking out from my makeup bag and putting it back into my makeup collection like every day. It's this whole thing that I've been doing, very annoying. These next three items are products that I use pretty much on a daily basis and I just needed to restock on them. We've got the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Bright side this one is a little bit more of a cool tone and so i love to use it as a contour and then we have the tower 28 serum concealer this product deserves all the hype that it's getting my favorite concealer i use it all the time and it blends so flawlessly and it's very hydrating i have really dry skin and the fact that it doesn't settle into my fine lines means a lot this eyeliner has been my go-to number one product that i have used religiously since like 2016 so like for the past seven or eight years and it is the hourglass 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel liner and it is in the color canyon canyon is like a really really dark rich chocolate brown and it almost looks black but not as harsh even though i bought the tower 28 concealer i also purchased the nars soft matte complete concealer which is in like a pot form hear me out this is the vision on days when i don't feel like doing like a full liquid concealer moment i want to use this to try and just spot conceal and do very very minimal foundation because this is going to be really good to just spot conceal and then head out the door something really fast last but not least i bought the super goop protectant daily spf tint this has gone viral on tiktok and when i went to the store i tested it out on my hand oh my god I was so surprised at how much coverage this little guy can give. The fact that it is a tint and yet can hide a lot of the redness that I saw on my skin. Also SPF 50, which is incredible for the summer. And it gave this very subtle, beautiful glow. So I'm really excited to try this out. I feel like everyone has been hyping up for a good reason. Obviously, I need to test it out more in order to make a real opinion on it. I think it's going to be a really good base for the summer. I am going to clean up everything that I purchased today, put things away, change into some comfy home clothes, and I will talk to you later. Hi friends! It's been a few days since I've picked up the camera. I have been working, you know, my nine to five job, and it has been freaking busy. So after work, I've just been usually hanging around at home, getting my rest up, but it is the weekend. It is Saturday. I got ready. Nothing really fancy. Just did my hair up. I've got this like really casual outfit on, and I plan on going to Target today because we ran out of trash bags at my house. And you know, nothing beats a weekend Target trip where I get to just spend all the time in the world going through every single aisle and I want to take y'all with me so let's go to Target. The bus has dropped me off and I hope you can hear me the cars are driving by so it's a little loud. I got off on the wrong bus stop. I accidentally missed it so I went to the one after. Before I go to Target I was like I kind of want to drink and obviously I'm not going to go to Starbucks that's inside of the Target because we are boycotting Starbucks right now. I remember that there is a boba shop right across the street 
I'm just checking to make sure that there are no cars that want to hit me and crossing the street. Always look both ways. Make sure you are being safe. It is so weird. It is fully sunny yet raining right now. Like there's little droplets that are coming out from the sky, but it's fully sunny. What is going on? <laughs> There's a Blackbird Donuts here now. When did that happen? Every time I come here, there's a new store that has opened up. But today we're going to the 101 Boba Shop Tea House. I was debating on the Earl Grey or the Jasmine tea and I low-key forgot what I ordered and so when the person was like Earl Grey tea I was like is that me <laughs> and then he said my name and I was like oh yeah that's me I got an iced Earl Grey tea no milk um, with brown sugar boba less ice and light sugar and it tastes perfect I like to get less sugar in the tea because the boba is plenty sweet already we're here I am so far away I've run out of Kleenex, so I think I'm gonna grab one of these. It says self care is for everyone. That is correct, self care is for everyone. If you know me, the method hand wash in the violet and lavender is my favorite. It smells so good. Y'all, I low-key dissociated for a little bit and stopped vlogging and I just piled up my card and I just realized I got so much stuff. That might not seem like a lot, but this is a lot of things that I just per like threw in my cart. I need to go check out or else I'm gonna fill it up to the brim. I don't even know what happened. I was doing so well and then all of a sudden, before I knew it, my cart was filled with things that I told myself that I absolutely needed, even though I know that I don't. And now I've called my Uber and I'm waiting for it to come pick me up. And I will have a very big haul when I get home. So you can look forward to that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am back home. I had a wonderful conversation with my Uber driver and now I'm going to film a TikTok of my haul because I really like to do grocery hauls and people seem to love them. So if you're into grocery hauls, check out my TikTok, link will be down below. Let's unload and put everything away. I'm starving, so I'm having leftovers. I'm talking with a knife. I shouldn't do that. Okay. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm having lunch now. I am heating up some leftovers, and then I'm going to put those leftovers in this um, inari, which is uh, tofu skin, marinated tofu skin. And you kind of eat it like sushi. Out is here because she's always interested in my food. Okay, so one, two... So I heated up my food. This is leftover Vietnamese food. Basically, I've got some pork and some rice. I'm gonna take the inari and I'm gonna stuff it with this and I'm gonna eat it because that sounds delicious to me. So you open this up like a little pouch and we're just gonna stuff it. Actually, maybe I'm gonna put some carrots and radish or daikon in first for a little crunch. Stuff it with some rice, and then add the beef. I'm gonna add some sriracha on top, because I love sriracha. And let's eat. Mmm. It tastes exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like, and I love it, it's good. Oh my god you have to try this if you like watermelon candy this is so freaking good like this might be my new favorite i don't know i really like the strawberry vanilla but this one a close second wow it's so good fuck 
<sighs> They're salty. These are really salty. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of that one. The reason I bought these markers today at Target is because I love coloring in a coloring book. Like, it's one of my favorite things to do while watching TV. And I have these really beautiful, like, alcohol-based markers. And they do color very beautifully, and I like them. But when I'm coloring, specifically, sometimes I color to heal my inner child. Something about me, like, want these markers specifically when I'm doing that with that intention. And so I'm going to color today. I have this coloring book. It is Secret Garden adult coloring book, but not adult in the way that you think. Just a little bit more complex than a children's coloring book, okay? <laughs> um, let's see which one I want to color today. Um, which one do I want? That one looks too complicated. I don't like it when they're too complicated because, like, I don't want to spend 10 hours on... A picture I just want you know okay this one's kind of cute this is the one I'm gonna do I like that there's like a little gnome and all the cute little flowers and while I'm doing this I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch some YouTube I think because I've been on a YouTube kick not only is it really motivating to watch other vloggers you know just like vlog and makes me want to upload my videos but also I got kicked off of my parents Netflix and Hulu so I really don't have many subscriptions to watch currently so yeah I've been I've been watching YouTube with the ads 